Happy New Year, everybody. It is that time again where we talk about, where we sit back and we reflect on the year that was. I can't believe we're doing it already, but a year has come to an end and a new year Mm -hmm. is coming in just a few hours. Yes. So we thought it'd be fitting that we talk about our favorite movies of 2021 and what a year it has been. Efren, my Uh, good man, how are you today? Happy New Year, sir. I'm doing good. Happy New Year to you you as well, good sir. Maybe if I can learn how to speak. Um, yeah, I know. Happy New Year. And of course, we have to end this year with talking about the best movies of the year. It just makes sense. And uh, I will say I'm doing good, but probably the hardest part about getting ready for this was actually you know, narrowing it down. That was a problem. Narrowing this down. And, and a good problem to have, as you mentioned, sir, that we had a lot of good movies to talk about this year. We had a year of movies. So it's exciting. So we are able uh, to do this and uh, we are breaking this down um, top five. So uh, each, uh, each of us, we didn't do 10. We didn't want the video to be three hours. Yeah. And uh, (laughs) yeah, so we will do uh, Gary's top four, my top four. We have some honorable mentions and then we will reveal our number one as the real pastor's number one movie of 2021. Yep, and our and, number uh, one is the exact same. We uh, did our list on our own, and it all came together. It's like, all right, so we might as well reveal it at the exact same time. And uh, just yep. to add, this is our list. Um, we want to know yours. Comment and let us know. Um, mm-hmm. This is the movies that we went and saw, and we individually and together were like, that is the ranking. And I'm just glad that we have movies to talk about. And it's been a good yes. year. So. So yeah, yes. do you want me to kick this yeah. off with my number five movie of the year? Yeah, let's do this. Let's get it. Oh, but one thing, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Yeah, do that. Finish off the year strong by subscribing to Real to Pastors. Click, and then you're subscribed. And that's there's it. There's no paperwork. There's no nothing. We don't charge a thing yet. Yeah. Maybe one day. Who knows? <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. you know, come on. Don't no, better way, no better way to finish off 2021 than watching this video and subscribing and liking, and all that great stuff. Come along this journey, hang out with us, and talk movies. It's fun. It's very Even fun. Even our wives like it most of the time. Most of the time. So, Gary, here we go. Shall we reveal right. yours and we start talking? All right, sir, here we go. Here is Gary's top four. Go ahead, good sir. All right, there you go. Thank you for the graphic, sir. So, number five you see down there in the corner is Zack Snyder's Justice League. And this counts because it was epic. It did not get a theatrical release. Even though if it would have, I would have been there. I'm sure mm-hmm. everyone would have been too. Um, this came out in March of this year, and I'm still can't believe we actually got this movie. But we actually got mm-hmm. this movie the way it was. It was completely a different movie, and I was blown away by it. I've rewatched it a couple times. I got the 4K up on the shelf somewhere, and I'll revisit it, revisit it quite a bit, uh, yep. especially since my man Affleck is in there. And uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League, what a great pleasant um experience it was so it comes in at number five for my best movies of the year number four one that i didn't expect to like so much but shang chi wow what a great movie this was this was not only this is in there somewhere of one of my favorite non-avengers marvel movies Mm -hmm. and i sat at theater and i was just like wait this is really good like I expected to leave being like, oh, pretty good. That was fun. But I, I was like, that was a good movie. Shot well, beautiful uh, cinematography. That's the word I was looking for. Um, <laughs> great story. The humor landed. And uh, Shang-Chi is on the shelf. And I will re- revisit that quite a bit. Number mm-hmm. three, one of my favorite theater experiences of the year, Goth. Ugh, Goth. <laughs> <laughs> He's so excited, Goth. ladies and gentlemen. He can't speak. After life. And I was going to say, my top three are movies that I had an emotional experience with this mm-hmm. year in the theater while watching them and ghostbusters afterlife was one of those moments if you saw a review on it i went on and on pretty much a giant fanboy about how well this movie was done and it deserves to be top three and it will be on the shelf sometime in february mm-hmm. i believe yeah and the well. number two probably my biggest surprise of the year of how much i actually liked it free guy great movie it is insanely rewatchable um hilarious great story great message and uh, Free Guy is my number two movie of the year because of all those things I already said. Check out our review on it. And uh, yeah, like I said, three, two, and one were all fun. 
and emotional experiences for me at the movie. So that is why Free Guy comes in at number two and Ghostbusters is number three. So, Mm -hmm. yeah. And I can understand that, especially Free Guy. I mean, it was a surprise for both of us Mm -hmm. um, how good it was. It was one of those, yeah, sure, I'll check it out. And it's like, wow, that was actually good. I'm very surprised. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm very excited for that one. That, that, that one was good as well, you know, and I get that, um, threw up our banner down there cause I forgot to throw that up, but anyways, oh, there we go. um, yeah, so, which is great cause, um, we have two of the movies on the top four that are the same and, and I, and I'm pretty sure they're in the same rank, but, oh, um, interesting. and so, yeah, so it's, it's, uh, it is, it is very interesting, but, um, but yeah, so now it's my turn and, and as I put this bad boy up there, um, what some of you realize is something's a little bit different. Um, what you'll hear from me, and, and I'll, I guess I'll get around to this in a second. What you see there, uh, well, at least number five, I guess you should say. Number five, Zack Snyder's Justice League, same spot as I put yours. I think for me, what probably would put this at five, like I feel like I had to put it in top five um, because, again, it was a great experience, but it wasn't theatrical experience. I wonder if we saw it in the theater, if it would have gotten higher. I'm not sure um, because that would have been a totally different experience it, watching that movie as opposed to at my house, you know, on HBO Max. Um, but but it happened. It would have gotten, you know, this sh- movie should have been made anyways. Should have been the theatrical version, not the Justice League that we got. Um, fourth, so anyway, so that's got to be in there. But fourth, Ghostbusters Afterlife. I am right there with you, sir. That um, what a fun experience in the movie theater. Went back, took my daughter to see it, my oldest daughter, because she just had to watch it. Um, even though she knows nothing of Ghostbusters other than the original cartoons. So she does know some. She knows the original <laughs> cartoons. Um, but yeah, it was just such a great time, and I absolutely loved it, and it did what it needed to do. Um, to me, it felt very like, I think what we said before, like a relaunch, right? Um, it, it, it reintroduced you to the world, um, you know, honored what came before it, set up for something new moving forward. So I thought it was great. Um, three for me, A Quiet Place 2. Uh, that's because I just, to me, this is one of those movies that it was just so different. Like, I know we've gotten A Quiet Place, but in in the world that we live in where a lot of stuff is tied to uh, IP and tied to comic book heroes and things like that, it's, I guess, as I know this is now an IP, but it was able to actually do something that I thought it couldn't be done. Is like, how do you continue this story and let it be interesting enough after the first one? And it did. And it gave us a good, interesting story. And it gave us, again, the feeling of something different, something fresh. And so that's why I put this there. And then go check out our review on A Quiet Place 2. I absolutely love this movie. Um, thought it was great. And then number two, uh, and, and this probably didn't pop up in Gary's list, to be fair to Gary, because he didn't get to see it. Let me see uh, yeah, so he didn't get to see it. So, you know, maybe it would change for him. But hey, he didn't get to see it. I got to see it. I absolutely loved this movie. This was one of those. Uh, I know I did a quick review on our rapid reviews. Check out the video for that. But this is one of those slow burns, but just great, like intellectual movie, but still with great action, great set pieces. This thing was magnificent, you know, to look at. The story was was larger than life. Like there was just so much about this movie that I absolutely love. Honestly, what kept it from being number one was what I said before is that the movie that we got isn't a full story. It literally just stops halfway is what it feels like. And so if it, if it told the full story, it probably would have been number one. But because of that, that's what puts it at number two for me. But this thing, I absolutely just adore this movie. And, and I know Gary is probably sick of hearing me talk about it. And he's oh no, it just gonna... makes me more excited for when I buy the <laughs> Yeah, there you go. You're gonna have to, man. Only way to experience it. Gonna blind by it. Gonna do it. Yeah, so good. And um, I just absolutely love this movie. Um, so th- there's just so much to love about it. And uh, again, go check out Rapid Reviews for a little bit more information. I mean, seriously, the acting, the story, cinematography, the scope, the scale. Like it, this movie has everything you could want. Yeah. It's so good. Um, so yeah, so that's why it's number two for me. And um, very and nice so those are my those are my yeah. top four. So I guess at this I, point we need to I go ahead say, and switch. Uh, yes, mm-hmm. I have not seen Dune, but I will tell you, A Quiet Place Two was not my number five before we decided to count Zack Snyder's Justice League. So mm-hmm. uh, just a side note there, but yeah, yeah, top top uh, some great movies. Got some good movies this yes. year. Uh, yeah, so, so for honorable just, mentions, and I'm just glad we had those movies. All right, like I'm just glad. So yeah. 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 We didn't even make a, a best of last year, did we? Do we make a best of? I don't think there was a way. I don't think there was enough to talk about uh, yeah. last year. There was Tenet. Was like, that's all we really hey, had. <laughs> Tenet was good. Yep, and that's all it was. So <laughs> I was glad that we we're able to do this this year. 
Um, so I got some honorable mentions, as I'm sure yeah. you do as well. Yes, um, and I and we both do. And I just want to say, ladies and gentlemen, like I have to say this. Um, but when I think of honorable mentions, I think like maybe two or three that you can mention that deco- Gary just decided to just. Hey, my honorable mentions is everything I saw. Everything, everything else that's not in my top five. And I just can't believe this, man. <laughs> like, yeah, dude, I went crazy. that's I'm how it works. Guilty with the honorable mentions. I went crazy with them. It was a good year. What can I say? Yeah, what can I say? I guess. Honorable <laughs> mention two or three, man. Two or three. Not everything I watched. I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, everything I watched that I liked. Let's put it that yeah, way. Pretty much. Yeah, everything. Because <laughs> yeah. you, you know what you will not find in any list? Matrix yeah. Resurrections. You no, don't find no, that no, in any no, list. No. no. Oh, by no. the way, uh, shout out Jeremy Johns. Uh, I watched his video today. He said Free Guy was a better Matrix resurre- Resurrection <laughs> than than Free than Matrix Resurrection. And I was like, oh, I love man, it. I was so thought of saying that. Oh, so that's good. so good. Uh, yeah, I got go ahead, a sir. list of honorable mentions. Like I say, it was a good year, folks. It was a good year. I liked being at the movies again. Maybe it's because I'm an A-list AMC guy along with Efren this year. So I was just That's excited right. to be back in the movie. So maybe I like things a little bit too much. You know, maybe mm-hmm. next year I'll, I'll come down a notch. But my honorable mentions include No Time to Die, 007, mm-hmm. uh, Godzilla vs. Kong, mm-hmm. which seems so long ago, but it was this year. Uh, yeah. Raya and the Last Dragon, completely forgot about that movie. Mm-hmm. It was. Uh, Jungle Cruise, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, Dad jokes alone. (laughs) Exactly. Yeah. Sing 2, saw that with the kids on Friday. Loved it. Absolute blast. We'll be reviewing that at some point. And uh, wrapping up my long list of uh, honorable mentions is A Quiet Place 2. Yeah. Which was number five, but I had to put Zack Snyder's Justice League in there. Yeah. No, that's fair. So for me, honorable mentions, uh, Shang-Chi. Again, I loved, I had a great time with that movie, but when you're trying to nail it down to five, and again, I saw some movies that Gary didn't, so that's yep. why. Yep. You know, some of that changed. Godzilla vs. Kong as well. Um, you know, I liked a lot of the same stuff here. But wrapping things wrapping things up that I got to recently see, American Underdog, the Kurt wow. Warner story. Uh, that movie, go check it out if you haven't seen it. Well worth the watch. Um, a whole lot of fun. Great story. Probably have to do a review of that later. Maybe if Gary gets a chance to see it. I'm um, tempted to go see it tonight. It plays at 645, but... Uh, but, hey, do it, man. But uh, but yeah, American Underdog, very, very much uh, worth your time to go watch. Uh, didn't get a whole lot of buzz going into it, but what's going to get buzz around this time because of Spider-Man, let's be honest. Um, so, uh, but yeah, True. very worth worth. So those are my honorable mentions. You know, I narrowed it down, sir, to three because that's I have how honorable mentions more. work. <laughs> I have a, so I have, I have a list of Netflix movies, Hulu movies. I'm just oh, dear heavens. <laughs> Oh gosh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, well, yeah. are we ready to reveal our number one movie of the year? I don't think anyone who's been on our channel is going to be surprised. No, probably not. Probably not surprised at all. Years. Yeah. Cause you see in our list, you see what's on there, what's not on there. You've heard Gary's, you know, scroll length of honorable mentions. He <laughs> just rolling out the scroll. <laughs> Here's my honorable mentions. Here, 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 here. Uh, <laughs> you've heard mine. So number one, here we go. Drum roll, please number one best of the year from your real pastors of course there it is spider-man no way home uh the best movie of this year and again this is one um i I don't think anyone would be surprised by honestly i could see this being a lot of people's number one i I, me personally after seeing what i've seen let's put it that way i can see people uh, going back and forth between this and dune just to be honest what i've seen Oh really? Okay. Yep. Yes. I watched it's, a couple uh, people's uh, videos, and uh, it's either it's one or the other. Yep. And so that's why I think it's going to be one of these two. Uh, either this or Dune will be people's number one. But your real pastors together agree this is the best movie of 2021. Oh no doubt. I mean, and you had to see it coming because I mean, one we were still talking about this movie, and we'll continue to talk about it because it was that good. And mm-hmm. it's only number one because Top Gun Two was delayed again. <clears throat> And I think we're sitting here talking about Top Gun Maverick. Um, if this, I'm just kidding. Sorry, I don't know We'll see that sometime in 2032. Uh, yeah, probably. But, uh, but yeah, Spider-Man Away Home, of course, number one. We loved it. And uh, what else is there to say? You know. Yeah, so that is the best movie for us. Um, we would love to hear your thoughts. Do you agree with any of our list? Do you agree with my list? Do you agree with Gary's list? Maybe you haven't seen the stuff on our list. We would love to hear from you guys what your top movies was there right there. Oh, I always forget. 
the, the camera stuff. Right there, there yeah. is the number one and, movie for the real pastors. Sorry, I don't want to interrupt you, but if there's something that maybe, maybe there's we didn't see everything, you know, we're dudes with kids, we're dads, we're, we're mm -hmm. husbands, you know, we're, we're you know we're all on the go all the time, so we don't get to see everything. So let us know if there's something you think is worth our while in the comment, and we'll go check it out. You yes, know, because yeah, that's one thing I've wanted to get from this channel is movie rec recommendations from some mm -hmm. of you guys. Yep, we would love to hear it. So, as always, subscribe, like, subscribe. comment below. Let us know your thoughts. Let us know your thoughts on either one of our list, on our number ones. Would you switch our number one with Dune if you happen to see it? We would love to hear it. And I, I like it, Gary. Give us those recommendations if there's yeah. something that's not on our list or honorable mentions that you're like, hey, you guys should check this out. We're always looking for more movies to watch. Absolutely. And so, well, I guess we'll see you next year. Yeah, we'll see you guys next year. Have a safe new year. Have yep. fun. And uh, we can't wait for new stuff that we have planned for 2022. We will see you guys. Peace out, homies. Peace.